Greetings, Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem, members of the City Council, and members of the public. This is Brenda Lopez. I'm the Housing Programs Manager for the Oxnard Housing Authority. This item is regarding the Oxnard Housing Authority's five-year agency plan and annual plan. I would first like to start with a high-level overview of the plans being presented today. The five-year and annual agency plan provides a description of the Housing Authority's basic regulations, requirements, and operational program policies. Both plans are required by the Department of Housing and Urban Development's Code of Federal Regulations, which govern the programs offered by the Housing Authority, specifically Regulation 24 CFR Part 903. The submission of the agency plans also serve as the application for capital fund grants, which provide the necessary funding for capital improvements of units under the public housing program. The plans are due to the Department of Housing and Urban Development by April 16, 2022, which is 75 days prior to the start of the fiscal year. A public hearing on the proposed changes to the public housing and Section 8 program policies and proposed goals and objectives for the next five years is also required. The written public comment and review period commenced November 22nd, 2022 and closed on January 6th, 2022. Resident advisory board meetings were also held for review and discussion. The board is made up of public housing residents and Section 8 program participants who provide feedback and recommendations to the Housing Authority. This year, the Housing Authority is proposing an amendment to the Housing Choice Voucher, also known as Section 8, administrative plan, specifically the adoption of a local limited farm worker preference. This change would affect the current and future applicants on the wait list. Applicants in which the head of household, spouse, or co-head are currently employed as farm workers in the Oxnard Housing Authority's jurisdiction will receive this preference. The Oxnard Housing Authority will limit the number of families that qualify for the farm worker preference to 15 families annually. Once the Housing Authority is serving 15 families under this preference in a given year and one family leaves the program, the next family on the wait list who meets the preference criteria will be served. No significant changes were proposed to the Public Housing Admissions and Continued Occupancy Policy Plan. Although no written comments from the public were received, based on the feedback provided by the Resident Advisory Board, Requiring a minimum number of hours to be worked in order for an applicant to qualify for the farm worker preference was removed. As mentioned earlier, the submission of these plans also serves as an application for the capital fund grant, which provides the funding for the capital improvements to public housing assets. The 2022 grant amount requested is $1,445,380. The resolution approves the Capital Fund Program Five-Year Action Plan, the 2022 Annual Agency Plan, the Five-Year PHA Plan, and also the 2022 Capital Fund Budget Program Budget. The recommendation is that the Board of Commissioners of the Housing Authority of the City of Oxnard, one, hold a public hearing to receive comments concerning the third year of the Five-Year PHA Plan, the 2022 Capital Fund Program Budget, and the Capital Fund Program Five-Year Action Plan, and two, adopt a resolution which will be approving the 2022 Annual Agency Plan, the Five-Year PHA Plan for the Housing Authority, authorizing and directing the Chairman to execute the Department of Housing and Urban Development's Public Housing Agency Certification Compliance Form, certifying that the Housing Authority is complying with HUD's policies and procedures, authorizing the housing director to execute and submit all reports, documents, and all other certifications that are required in order to comply with HUD's policies and procedures regarding the annual agency plan and the five-year PHA plan, approving the 2022 Capital Fund Program Budget and Capital Fund Program Five-Year Action Plan, and lastly, authorizing the housing director to accept and expend the funds as indicated in the 2022 Capital Fund Program Budget and the Capital Fund Program Five-Year Action Plan. This concludes my presentation. Housing Director Emilio Ramirez will be available for any questions or any additional information needed. Thank you for your time.